Happy holidays, everybody. This is HD, and I am back for another set of games from Red Bull Battlegrounds New York City. And uh, I'll be casting another game returning back to the venue of Habitation Station. Uh, we've actually got the Red Zerg player Quantic Hyun at the top right hand corner of the map. And in the top left hand corner of the map, we've got a returning contender from the last matchup I casted. It is going to be SKMC. And it is going to be another Protoss versus Zerg. So, um, pretty cool here. I, uh, I actually casted the last set of games with MC. And um, now we're going to be returning back for another best of three PVZ. This is, once again, from the group stage. And uh, give you guys another quick tour, once again, of Habitation Station, in, ca in case you guys forgot it. We do have kind of like... It's a Protoss tile set, obviously, with the players spawning on the upper portions of the map. And then down towards the low ground, you kind of have the grassy knoll area. Uh, there is a Zonaga Tower here. There are gold expansions here. I actually casted an epic Terran versus Zerg, I think, um, where the gold expansions really became a huge focal point. Um, so I'm hoping to see another good set of games here. Once again, it is, of course, the holiday season. And uh, I don't know if you guys have gotten your Christmas shopping done yet, but I actually have not. I'm always been, I've always been a bit of a late shopper. So I'm hoping that I don't get totally screwed over when I go to buy my gifts for this holiday season. I think, uh, you know, I don't have that much time. So I'll probably head out to the mall after this. Although who shops at the mall nowadays? Everybody kind of does it online on the internet. Um, but uh, I actually did end up getting myself a bit of a gift, a new phone. So uh, that's pretty cool. And, uh, you know, I've actually been needing a new phone for a long time. My phone's been super slow and out of date. Um, my first cell phone ever, for those of you guys who were curious, was a Nokia. Like the old school Nokias, the brick phones that never broke even if they fell down. Uh, or dropped them from like a 10-story building. It did not matter. Um, and those were pretty, uh, pretty awesome, man. Those were super sturdy and uh, one of my favorite phones of all time. I remember playing like Worms on there or Tetris, Tetris Worm, whatever that game was called. It was like Roach Snake for uh, for uh, StarCraft 2 custom games. Anyways, Overlord here doing a bit of a dance, and it is going to have to be very careful here because once those photon cannons come up, um, you know the Overlord is in danger. Uh, Hyun here is going to go right for the hatchery. I, I should say that this is from the group stage once again from Red Bull Battlegrounds. I will be going on to doing more games in this tournament as well as other games you guys submit to me. So uh, feel free to send them into hdreplays at gmail.com. Um, Raptor Zergling coming up here to the front door, but it is going to be denied by that pylon that MC threw up uh, at the nice at the right time. <laughs> SK Gaming since 1997. Nice. I actually really like their logo right there. Uh, Quantic's logo is a little bit less, uh, I guess, extreme. Just um, got like, I don't know what it is. Is that supposed to be like, uh, I have no idea what that is. But it's just their logo, I guess. Kind of reminded me for a second of like uh, a cartoon, but uh, the, the cartoon doesn't come to mind. Um, Zergling here chasing out this probe across the middle of the map. And uh, you will note that Hyun has taken three hatcheries. Now do note that... Uh, you know, MC's play style has always been that of an aggressive Protoss player. Uh, he likes to bring the, the pressure. He likes to bring the pain, uh, if you will. So, um, we'll see if he decides to, um, you know, punish. I don't know if punish is the right word, because uh, this so far has been a very standard opening for both players. But we'll see if he decides to go for something... Uh, you know, aggressive, um, and uh, usually he, MC is the kind of player that will throw up, you know, uh, five, six gates and then push on two bases uh, with proxy pylons. Uh, he can also get a Twilight Council down, he can also go Immortals and press as well. Um, sometimes you see MC playing the late game too, and he's good at that, it's just not really, you know, what he's known for. And uh, it looks like he is going to bring a probe over here, I think this is the first scout he's gotten into enemy Zerg territory. That probe is going to be taken out, and we have a Stargate coming up for MC. Hmm. Interesting that uh, he didn't actually... I guess he didn't want to reveal the Stargate um, to the Overlords, because I would have, you know, thought, why not just place it right here? But, you know, that is where Overlords are going to be hiding. However, I think Hyun is going to probably get the scout in here regardless and find out that there is a star double Stargate coming. Oh, and he's actually placed the second Stargate back here. So these Stargates are pretty much totally hidden. You can see this Overlord has been pushed away. And Hyun has no idea that there are two Stargates coming up for MC. Now, 
I think M's, oh, he has not gone for any additional gateways, but he's researching warp gates. So he should be throwing down four or so warp gates pretty quickly here. Um, and I think he's going to make a, a push on two bases uh, with like a four or five gate plus two stargates. That's actually a very powerful strategy. Uh, he hasn't thrown down the warp gates yet, but he is making an oracle. Uh, out of the first Stargate, making a second Oracle out of the second Stargate, and now beginning to Chrono Boost him. Oh, he's gonna go for Mass Oracle, I think. At least for the uh, for this first few minutes here, he's gonna attack with Oracles, and the great thing about Oracles, their Pulsar Beam can rapidly destroy drones. Um, and you'll see here how quickly, how much damage the Oracle can do to ground units. It's not even funny. An Oracle can kill a Queen, and that is why additional Queens have been brought in. However, I don't know if I like MC. Well, he did kill off about three workers there. Uh, I don't know if I like him revealing that first Oracle. I think they're much stronger. Uh, you know, if you are going to go for a lot of Oracles here, which he is, and now he's adding on those work gates I was talking about, um, I feel like it's better to wait until you have, you know, five or six, and then move in and do the damage you want to do, because, hmm, I, I just feel like the way he kind of attacked like this, he, you know, he revealed one Oracle, and now there's going to be air defenses, um, I think, I don't think the next wave is going to do much damage, although I will say, Hyun is probably not expecting MC to have a, a lot more oracles back there. He probably thinks that that was just a one oracle, one timer kind of thing, and there isn't going to be more coming. But in fact, there is. Now, there are a lot of roaches and zerglings gathering at the front here, and it looks like Hyun might be preparing to do some type of a ground, uh, maybe just a bust through the front door, and he could do a lot of damage. But here comes the Oracle fleet bombarding its way into the main base. And there is one Spore Crawler here, but it is going to be taken out very quickly. Queen did not have enough, enough energy for Transfuse, and this is it. We don't really see this being used too often in tournament play, but there you have it, MC. If there's going to be a Protoss that can pull something like this off, it is MC. And these Oracles are rapidly destroying everything Although, oh, the queen did not get transfuse off. Um, I think that was a missed opportunity for Hyun to keep his queens alive. Now, there are a ton of spore crawlers coming up, and you can see once these spore crawlers come up, the, the you know, these oracles aren't going to be able to do much more damage. However, at the front door, Hyun has gone for the counterattack, realizing, okay, you don't have any ground forces. You know, you sent, spent everything on oracles. Now I'm just going to attack with my roaches, and he is going to do a ton of damage here, killing off workers. Uh, will he be able to get enough workers killed to match up the 28 probes that have gone down already? Oracles, I'm not sure where they are. Been, they have been brought back to help defend here, and these oracles are definitely assisting, although most of them are low on energy. The Roach is now running up into the main base, but I think MC is going to be in a great spot, although more Zerglings are coming in, and Hyun is going to try to clean up the garbage on the ground. He sent the Zerglings in, and will he be able to do enough damage? He's killed off 16 workers already, and the problem here is Oracles and Void Rays are not very good at killing off Zerglings, and Hyun knows that, so he could just continue to feed the Zerglings to feed this beast. Although, um, one Zealot has been brought in, it's walking away from the front door. I would not do that if I was MC. Leave a Zealot there and block off that front door. Um, and it looks like finally, after all the dust has settled, after all the units have died off, we are now sitting at 57 to 85, 63 to 85. Um, with MC holding a lead over Hyun, and I think that just comes down to his Oracle play. Um, you know, and the counterattack from, from Hyun, while it did some damage, I don't think it did enough. And here comes these uh, Void Rays now with Prismatic Beam. They are going to do a ton of damage, killing off the Queens and the, and the Spore Crawlers. And the drones now have to run away. Look at all the lasers just coming down everywhere. It's laser pew, pew, pew. And uh, this hatchery is definitely going to go down. And I'm liking what I see from MC. Uh, you know, and I said before this game started, uh, you know, MC is the kind of player that has a lot of signature aggression uh he's the kind of player that will bring the hammer down Ooh, that's kind of cool Ultra is there and uh you know mc did not disappoint this game his one of his patented two base ex execution builds designed to kill off zerg and uh he is very good at doing that and you can see now that he is in a pretty good situation i, I will say you know his technology is a little sparse but I think the fact that he has, you know, 111 supply over 82 more than makes up for any technological difficulties, um, you know, and he is going to be dealing with Hydras pretty soon here. I think I saw a ton of Hydras coming. Yeah, but it's not a big deal 
And MC right now can actually push out and get, get an expansion if he wants to. Uh, Hyun is going to try to find out what's going on here, sending in the 8 eyeball monster. I think it has 8 eyes. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Oh no, it's just 6 eyes. I could have sworn, I think there's 2 more eyes somewhere. I think that would qualify it to be an arachnid, but I'm not sure. No, that's 8 legs. 8 legs. Anyways, uh, Nexus here is under attack. It is going to be cancelled, so uh, MC gets his money back. And it looks like, um, yeah, really at this point, it's kind of that situation where Hyun is kind of in a desperation mode. He's only got two hatcheries. Uh, he's definitely down in supply. And, um, you know, one thing that he does have going for him is he's got Hydras, but uh, Hydras, you know, without, you know, enough economy to back them up, they're pretty expensive, expensive to produce. I just don't know what Hyun can do. I think he might be out of it. Although, of course, it is a best of three, so it's not the end of the world. A couple of the oracles are coming back. Let's check the kills on these oracles. 13 kills, 11, 9, 7. Yeah, usually oracles are going to rack up kills pretty quickly. Um, and it looks like the Protoss army now, the air army moving down, it's going to leave this expansion vulnerable. Hyun's basically going all in here with this attack. The oracles have gone into the main base. And they are going to start destroying buildings off. And um, the drones have all obviously been destroyed as well. But the Hydras are going to make their way up to the front door. Where is the Protoss army? It looks like all of it has been brought back home through Mothership Recall. And there are so many Void Rays here. I mean, I just don't see how these Hydras are going to be able to win this fight. Especially when they're choked up on the ramp like this. And he, realizing that, is going to pull away from the ramp. Re-engaging now. But he just doesn't have enough Hydras. And his oracles are going to come in and finish him off too. Hyun is out. He is definitely GG'ing out of this game. He still has a couple of Zerglings left, but that is it. And uh, 115 supply to 62 now. But Hyun hasn't given up yet. Um, and I guess, uh, you know, I guess he really wants to make sure. You know, it is a tournament, and uh, you never want to prematurely GG, look at the replay, and then say, wow, I didn't need to GG, I still could have won the game. So it's always, you know, it's always worth it to give it your all, but, hmm, this is looking pretty bad. And um, MC now flying into the middle with his Void Rays. Do note, this is a best of three, so I will be casting at least another game, barring, MC vic barring an MC victory in the next game. Um, and MC here... Continuing to use this Void Ray to take out drones, but we have, we have a bit of a Spore Crawler wall, wall here, four Crawlers, and some Hydras. And I guess Hyun now is just hoping upon hope that, you know, this he can be able to make some kind of defense here. He is going to be able to kill off a Void Ray or two, but there is just so much firepower here. And this is a really cool build from MC, I've got to say. It's like a Void Ray Oracle. He's got plus one weapons, so his air, you, you know, his air weaponry is, you know damage is increased if you will although the pulsar beam actually does not share in that upgrade um, which makes sense pulsar beam is um how should i say it's an ability and not an attack an auto attack which is what upgrades increase they increase auto attacks on abilities but nevertheless i mean you know mc is in a fantastic situation and yeah i think i'm just gonna forward here because this is kind of weird. I'm actually surprised Hyun hasn't GG yet. Um, let's just see what happens. X4 speed FTW? Looks like the oracles come back around. I mean, you can see the supply difference. That's why I'm not even really bothering to stay at uh, normal speed because you know, <laughs> how in the hell is it, how Hyun going to win this? If it starts to get close, I promise I'll slow it down. Um, but you can see that Protoss army is coming on the minimap and it is, I mean, yeah. Okay, <laughs> nice try, but yeah, he's going to have to GG. Alright, so we're going to go right on to game two. Hope you guys enjoyed, and um, stay tuned. We'll have uh, the next one coming up. HD, signing out.